In this second video, we're going to be looking at a, an example of a mathematical induction, and we're going to be trying to prove this statement um, for all n greater than or equal to 1 using um, mathematical induction. So uh, basically what this statement is asserting is that uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus etc plus n is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. So instead of computing all these additions, you can just compute that and you'll get the same answer. This is basically what the statement is saying. We have, we have yet to prove it. Um, the way we're going to do it is, just like we said in the previous video, we're going to be dividing the proof into two subproofs. There's the base case and the inductive step. In the base case will be simply to prove that um, this statement holds for um, when n takes the lowest possible value. The lowest possible value based on the question is n is equal to 1. So we're going to have to prove that this statement holds when n is equal to 1. And that's trivial because n, when n takes the, takes the value of 1, this sum becomes 1. And on this side, we have 1 times 1 plus 1 divided by 2 and that's 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So this holds. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side for the base case. So we're done with the first case. Now let's go to the second uh, case which is the inductive step. Now we're going to have to prove that we could actually move in our sequence. Um, basically what we're going to have to do first is assume that uh, the, the statement holds when n is equal to k, where k is any value uh, within this um, restraint or constraint that we've put on ourselves at the beginning of the, the, the question. Um, so our first step is to basically say that the induction hypothesis is true. So we're going to assume that the statement holds for when n is equal to k. And we're going to try to prove that given this, um, n, uh, the, the statement also holds for when n is equal to k plus 1. Now let's try and prove this. So our summation becomes i is equal to 1, k plus 1 is equal to, so we're trying to take this, the left hand side, and bring it to the right hand side right here. Um, uh, what we're going to do here is we're just going to take this element out, the last one, so it's going to be k plus 1 plus summation of i is equal to 1 to k of i. Uh, so I just took the last element out. That's all I did. This is a big summation that goes from 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 all the way to k plus 1. And all I did here is I took the last um, element and I took it out and, I, and I'm left with only this summation. And this summation, um, by our induction proof and the induction hypothesis, is, is equal to um, k times k plus 1 over 2. This is part of our assumption. So what we have now is k plus 1 plus k times k plus 1 over 2. Uh, and this is our left-hand side. So we've reduced our left-hand side from this to that. And we're slowly getting closer to what we want. Our final result is this. So we want to be able to prove that um, this basically reduces to that right-hand side when n is equal to k plus 1. And we're almost there, so we're going to factorize k plus 1, and then we have 1 plus k over 2. And if you look at this closely, what this tells you, if you take the 2 out, then you have 2, k. And what is this exactly? So this is half. So we took the half out, and we multiplied these by 2. So what this becomes is, I'm trying to make it explicit just like we have it in the other uh, form, over 2. So this is our n, this is our n. This is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. And you have your right hand side. So you've basically proved the inductive step. And you're done. You've proved the statement for all n uh, equal, greater than or equal to 1. So this is an example of proof by induction.